Hi there, my name is Greg Edwards, I'm the computer coordinator of Auburn North School and I'm going to show you how to start the computer. First of all you'll need your discs, you should have a disc tray full of discs or you can get more discs from the library. The school library has uh, plenty of adventure games and discs for your class to use. First of all we use Colour Print Shop, that's the usual uh, bit of software that we use at Auburn North. We'll put our disc in, and what we can do is to start off, it's what we call a cold boot, and that's turning the power on from the PowerPoint, and the disc is already inside the disc drive, so I'll do that quickly. When we do that, the disc should come up on the screen, the print shop so we know it's working. When you see the little red light that means that that's reading the disc. Now that was called cold booting but usually you go from one disc to another. So what we'll do we'll try warm booting. Warm booting is where we use three keys and on this computer I've put three green dots. Other computers have different colour dots but it's the open apple key the control key and the reset key and we press the three keys all together like so and we release the reset button first and this is called warm booting now the print shop is a colour uh, piece of software we have colour pictures. With the Apple IIe, you can change the colour to monochrome. Turn. Especially for writing programs like Multistrive. Made in China. You press this button here. And with this uh, screen, we have colour monitor switch, little sign in here. So we just press that, it goes to monochrome. Press it again, it goes back to colour. And that's a little hidden panel. With the Apple GS, there is a control panel which you have to get in using um, the escape key and the control key and the open apple key. But I'll do that with the next video. Right, we're in colour, we've warm booted. But you might say that when you turn the power on and there's no disc in there, what would happen? Well, this is what will happen. If you turn the computer on, with the Apple IIe and there's no disk in, there's usually a little red light. And what's happening, the computer's looking for a disk and there's no disk. Now you can damage your disk if you try to put your disk into the disk drive now. To stop that red light is to press the control and reset button. Now you're ready to put your disk in. You can never take your disc out or put a disc in when that red light's on. That's with the Apple IIe. With the Apple GS, it's a smarter machine and it turns itself off straight away, waiting for you to put the disc in. So let's warm boot again, third time. Three keys, the reset goes up first. The good thing with uh, Print Shop is that you can print out stories, you can print out signs and banners, very, very quickly. You only need to press the return key. The return key is your execution key, and that goes forward. Your escape key, that lets you go backwards. Right, greeting card, sign, letterheads, banners, screen magic, graphic editor. Well, today we're going to do a sign. So I press return to select sign. We're going to design our own sign. Now this option allows us to choose a special border. We can have fancy borders, or we can just have simple borders, or we could choose no border at all. But today we'll just have the thin line, and I'm just using the up and down arrow keys for this. So I select a thin line. Now it says, do you want to choose by picture, by number, or get the picture from another disc, 
or have no picture whatsoever, no graphic. Well today we'll choose by picture. There are 50 pictures on your colour print shop. Alright, we have a birthday cake, hearts, bells, gift box, stalk, graduate, pumpkin, Christmas. Well, I might press a Christmas. We'll have a Christmas cake sale. Now, do we want a small graphic, medium size, or large? Large will only give you one large Christmas tree right in the middle. Well, we want, I think, at least three or four. So we'll choose medium. Now, we could have five Christmas trees like that, or we can select the number of Christmas trees that we want. So I'm having custom layout. If I press return, I can select it, the one I want in each different place. So I'll have number one, it's been selected. I'll use the arrow keys to the right. I'll miss two, I'll miss three, I'll miss four, and I'll go to five, and I'll select the five with the return key. Then I go to done, press return to select done. That means I'll only have two Christmas trees. Now font in this program means the type of writing you're using. What you see is what you get. You can have fancy writing or you can have the block type writing for newspapers. I prefer using a smaller block writing because you can have so much more in one uh, sign. So I select block by using the return key. Now remember we have a picture up in this top left hand corner and we have another picture in the bottom right hand corner. So we should be writing somewhere in the middle. Well, I'll write a little message. Mary, and I press return. Christmas. And I could put 1992. I can use some of the controls. The mini here. iPad. If you use control I, you can see a little menu. Well, all I'm going to do is control S to change the size. Control key and the S key makes it larger. But if you go to control I, you see the whole menu of things that you can do with this writing. So I'm going to press return, 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 return. Do I want to centre all my writing, top and bottom? Yes, I do. I press return. As I said, return keeps you going forward. The escape key will let you go back if you made a mistake. Right, let's preview our work. Save us some paper by looking at our work. Press preview. And again, a little red light goes on saying that the disc has been read. There's our two trees. We've got our writing, but where's our border? There's our border being drawn. So, Merry Christmas 1992. So that's what it should look like on our printer. And it says press any key to continue. That will go back to our pr print options. I move it down to where it says print. I can set the number of copies, but since we're only going to print one, I can go straight to the print option. Before we print, we should check to see that our paper is in the printer. Right, we have to check our print to see the paper is in properly. To feed the paper in, we have to make sure that we have the paper in the tractor feed. That's the left hand tractor feed, the right hand tractor feed. The left hand tractor feed is your default. You always keep it the same. The right hand side, you can click up a little piece and that can move backwards and forwards. Right, I'll clip that and lock it down in place. So that's ready to roll through. So I can reuse the roller and roll that through. Right. Now the back part can go in. I should flip 
pen. Now to make sure that our printer is okay, this lid has a little magnet in there and there should be, you could see there's a little red light going on and off. That little red light's telling me that the lid is off or that there's no paper. Well, we know we have paper, but it means the lid's not in place because there's a little magnet switch telling me that it's not in place. So I'll put the lid back on. To print, you must have three lights that are green. Once you have three lights that are green, you know you're ready to print. Right, what I'll do now, we'll go back to our screen. We have, uh, we have selected print. To select print, now I have to press the return key. And hopefully we'll see something happening here. So I'll press the return key. The little red lights on the disk, saying that it's ready to look for that file that we've been writing on. It's thinking. It's ready to print out. It's printing out the border first of all. I think it's working and just starting on the Christmas tree. I'll just put this on the seat. You usually have this printer on the floor somewhere so you can feed the paper through properly. It's working well. So this is a quick way of making a sign or if you want to make a banner or something like that. It's very quick. And even the children can do this quite easily. With a sign, you might better have a quick instant sign for a cake day, or if there's going to be a cake sale or something like that, you can do that. Or if you want to have a title page for a story, you can make a quick title page with PrintShop. Now, there's other programs like PrintShop, um, Super Print 2. is another way of using, it's another PrintShop type program. But don't use the banners with Print Shop um, Super Print 2 because you need a data disk to save all your work onto it. You've got the first tree up. rip along the tear lines and that's our sign saying Merry Christmas 1992 so it's very quick and easy and from this we can then photocopy and make 30 copies for our children I advise not to print out 30 of these because we want to look after our printer ribbon it's easier and far uh, less um, time wasting when you can photocopy it because it takes at least three to four minutes to print out one. Can you imagine what it would be like to print out 30 of them?